welcome to yet another one of my vlogs. It is Thursday. Yes, it's Thursday. So this is day four. God, it's four days only already. You're probably wondering why the heck I have bunny ears on. Well, the reason I have bunny ears on is uh, there was a giant bunny in here earlier and uh, he was trying to rob me and I shot him in the face and I stole his ears afterwards and put him on my head. Okay, that's not a believable story. But uh, yeah, Shimpoki's actually back from Amsterdam. She's back in Limerick, so it's gonna be like all steam ahead. And like, uh, yeah, let's actually get stuff done. Because when I'm left to my own <laughs> devices, I seem to do nothing. We're gonna pretend that didn't happen. Anyway, uh, yeah, when I'm uh, left to my own devices, I kind of tend to, well, be a little lazy with stuff. So, yeah, there's going to be a load more done for us. Uh, we have a little something coming up soon. Um, we are also going to be making sure our channel's all up and ready to go and pretty. And, we're, yeah, we're, do we're doing a lot, really. Since Shimpoki's back, it's like, right, we're feeling motivated to do this. Uh, another thing again is we are doing the application form. We are making an application form for anybody who wishes to join either Cosplay Keyhole or Game Rules. So yeah, uh, we're kind of looking for people to give us a hand with simple stuff. A bit of Facebook, a bit of Twitter, bits on the website, either or like. Um, there's a couple of jobs we have going for people. Now once again, I can't pay you people anything yet. but with your cooperation and help and input i know we can start going places bigger than we ever thought we could and when we start making money then you know i don't see why we can't pay you guys so the next big thing i was doing was uh i downloaded i totally forgot about it but i actually downloaded the uh mechnomancer Micromancer, that's the word I'm trying to say, in uh, Borderlands 2. And she's a new class in Borderlands 2. She uses a awesome death trap robot. As we know, we've got Claptrap, but this is Death Trap because he's a floaty robot that can kill lots of things. He likes to swipe things a lot with claws and he can shoot lasers and stuff, which is kind of awesome. I mean, the three skill trees are kind of crazy and that. There's one there that basically really does a lot of damage for you but you know it can really mess you up as well like I mean you can you can up your shield for you can kill someone right and get 20% of your shield back but that also means that you're gonna lose like 10% of your health so I don't know I wouldn't find that great but you know maybe she balances out and actually turns out to be really awesome I'm going down the line of elemental damage she's very very um, much elemental like upping your elemental damage or your resistances. You got other cool skills, uh, primarily to do with, you know, Death Trap, who is kind of awesome. So yeah, that's uh, the game I've been playing, and I've actually started Code Geass. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's what I'm starting to watch now. Uh, it's interesting. Seems very mecha y I've always kind of been a fan of the old mecha, so that sounded wrong, didn't it? Yeah. Okay, I'm a big fan of giant robots. There, I said it. Giant robots. I like giant robots. I like Gundam Wing. Most people didn't. Uh, but yeah, I always like the, the giant robots beating the living crap out of each other. I just think it's kind of cool. Um, also, I'm going to be starting a new series on uh, Armor Core. I don't know if many people actually know of Armor Core, but once again, it is giant robots flying around at stupidly high speeds, blowing the crap out of each other. Uh, I'm going to do a quick series on all the levels there, and but first I'm going to do all of the four answerer ones, which are like the mobile fortress. I'm going to do all of them first, um, just show you how to kill them more than anything. I've, I've beaten the game on regular and hard, which are the hard difficulties, that's about it. This is the only difficulties that they actually put in it, which are normal and hard. Um, you know, I'll show you what's probably the best strategy, although, you know, there's no best strategy as well, you know, depending on what way you want to fly, because there's stupid amounts of calibrations and stupid amounts of uh, customization in each of these robots, you know, but well, they're all ACs, so it's, it's a great game, it's really difficult, but uh, if you like that type of thing, really difficult, good games, then yes, definitely pick it up, because it's actually quite cheap, uh, because it's been out for ages. <laughs> 
Uh, other than that, there's not a whole lot really, you know, I have to say today. Uh, we're, like I said, we're going to make things a lot prettier. I'm going to make things run much smoother for you on both websites. Uh, so I'm also going to leave, you know, all the links and everything. If you guys are wondering what the heck is Gamer Rules or what is Cosplay Keyhole, everything's actually in the description. If you want to find out what it's all about, just give them a quick click. It'll tell you everything on it anyway. Just uh, you, if you want to become a member, you can, uh, you know, head out onto our forums. You can post up reviews. You can check out the other members. You can post up your own photos and every, little things. It's basically, Gamer Rules is Facebook for gamers, and Cosplay Keyhole is a, a great starting point, especially for cosplayers, people who are unsure of cosplay. And it's great people to play... Uh, Va, 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 va. It is a great place for people to meet other cosplayers as well. Um, again you can review your own animes you can review mangas you can review just single anime like you know this is volume six of it and you could actually review just that yourself if you wanted uh again it could all be done in words words and pictures whatever way you like basically you're getting your message out there that's the biggest thing uh the same thing goes for gamer rules it's all about your opinion so guys that's pretty much everything i need to tell you um i'm going to be working pretty hard on the next uh couple of days at least um there's a lot coming up, a lot of work for myself coming up as well. Uh, starting next Wednesday, I probably my vlogs will be out a little later in the day. Seeing as like three of you probably watch them, yeah, it's probably not going to mean much. But anyway, yeah, I hope to hear a bit more from you guys. If you guys have any suggestions of different things you'd like me to try, games you'd like me to try, um, food you'd like me to try, I'm really trying to get back into my cooking again. Uh, like I said last week, but uh, of course I haven't done anything about it. I won't do anything about it until tomorrow when I actually get ingredients. So that's kind of my next big thing. If you guys suggest something I could try and cook, I could try recording and see how well it turns out. Uh, I don't know, up to you, really. That's, yeah, that's pretty much everything I have to say to you then. Uh, so I'll see you later guys, enjoy. Totally forgot it, uh, words of wisdom for you guys today. Uh, be thankful in all things. I had a debt recently enough, like a couple of days ago, and uh, it's been forgiven. It's 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 funny because um, it was really cutting down how much I actually had in a week, um, so I didn't realize how little I could actually do in a week. And now that that's actually forgiven, I realize how much more I can start doing. So you know, in that I'm really thankful. It's only like twenty quid a week, but it really clears things up. And you know, I realize that now, and I'm I'm really really thankful for something so small. I mean, like, I hate if the big things actually happened, you know? I mean, like, having a roof over my head or food in my belly, you know? And, okay, maybe I could use a little less food in my belly, but that's another story altogether. Um, but yeah, that's, you know, these, these are all things that we need to be thankful for more than anything. So, uh, yeah, in all things, be thankful. All right, see you then. <laughs>